Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we'll have a look at this paper, Nicotinamide Adenine Dinucleotide Augmentation in Overweight or Obese Middle-Aged or Older Adults, a Physiological Study. As we'll see, I think this is a more interesting study than many of those that have happened before, as the dose was quite large, two grams per day, and there were some significant changes to the body markers. Let's have a look at this in more detail. As a note, Dr. Sinclair is one of the co-authors. NAD levels go down with age. This has been considered as one of the causes of some of the age-related diseases. In the study, they administered an NAD precursor with the aim of boosting the NAD levels. They used MIB-626, a form of NMN. The paper mentioned that it has a unique crystalline structure, which they call a polymorph. It was a randomized clinical trial with 30 overweight or obese participants aged over 45, both men and women. The intervention was to take 1,000 milligrams of NMN twice a day for a total of two grams. The study lasted 28 days and was followed by another follow-up 28 days after the last dose. The outcomes looked at were NAD levels, exercisability, and some metabolic markers. There were no adverse effects and NAD levels in the blood were raised by more than 200%. Other changes that were significant were body weight, diastolic blood pressure, LDL, and total cholesterol. There was no change in exercise performance or in fat mass or insulin sensitivity. Let's look at the results in more detail. First, the levels of NAD and some of its metabolites in blood. The levels of NAD increased significantly, more than doubling in the treatment group. NMN changed only transiently, which is not surprising as NMN will normally be quickly converted to NAD if it is present. In terms of body weight and fat mass, the weight of the placebo group increased while that of the treatment group decreased. There was a significant between group difference at P equals 0.008, where P equals 0.05 is the cutoff for significance. However, it looks like there may not have been a significant difference from the baseline to the end for the treatment group. In terms of liver and visceral fat, there was no change. Looking at the lipid panel, the total cholesterol was 26.89, LDL 18.73, a non-HDL cholesterol 24.56 lower in the treatment group. These results all reached significance compared to the placebo group. There was no change in either of the groups in HDL cholesterol, APOB or APOA1. For blood pressure, the diastolic blood pressure was 7 millimeters of mercury lower which was significant relative to the placebo. Systolic blood pressure was decreased by 11.03, but this did not quite reach significance. They looked at muscle performance in terms of one rep max and training to fatigue, as well as muscle recovery after exercise. In none of these cases was there any significant effects. They also noted that NAD levels in the muscle tissue were not increased, which is consistent with previous mouse studies. Looking at the disclosures, the study was sponsored by Metro International Biotech, who are the maker of MIB-626, a substance which they are promoting to the FDA as a drug. And Dr. Sinclair is a founder and consultant to the company. In the discussion section, the authors did propose some possible mechanisms of action for the observed effects based on mouse data, but did not verify these in the study, so I will not go into them here. The trial used MIB-626, which is marketed by Metro Biotech as a form of NMN with a special microcrystalline structure. Whether this makes any difference in comparison to supplemental NMN to its effects once it's absorbed is unclear. Overall, it's great to see a trial with a larger dose of NMN. Up till now, most, if not all, have been using less than one gram. The trial used two grams per day, and the larger dose did seem to produce a more significant outcome. They also saw no ill effects. Thank you for your attention. I wish you all well, and I will speak to you again soon.